You're the guy with the gun, right? You must be the students from Thor's. Thanks for coming. I assume you must be Sandy. That's right. Though I wasn't expecting Lady Alicia to be accompanying you. I've seen you a few times over the years, but it's an honor to meet you in person. That's very kind of you. Well then, allow me to tell you a bit about myself. As you know, my name is Sandy. I serve as Chief of the Second Factory's Firearms Development Division. It's an honor and privilege to be able to work with you. Thank you. The pleasure's all ours. It must be tough for Elisa around here sometimes. Yeah, she's practically a celebrity here in Brower. As you might have gathered, I need your help combat testing a new kind of orbital firearm. Specifically, I require assistance of someone familiar with the use of orbital firearms in combat. So would you be able to help? I mean, Machias has a firearm. So yeah, accept the request. We'd be happy to help. Excellent. Well then, to begin with, what kind of gun would you prefer? What do you mean? I assume you were just going to give us whatever you have ready? Terribly sorry, I should have explained. Technically, I'm not asking you to test a gun, but rather a device that goes inside it. It's called an orbital unit. And what is that exactly? I'm sure you're all aware of orbital firearms use orbital energy to propel their bullets. Orbital units are internal mechanisms responsible for producing that orbital energy. After much arduous research, we finally developed the brand new kind of orbital unit. As such, model of gun, it will be installed and makes little difference for this test. Any type will do. Ah, uh, okay. So what are you say so what you're saying is, the orbital unit's basically the engine and guns the car? Precisely, a very accurate comparison. Alright, I think we get it now. So what are your choices gun-wise? I brought three with me, a shotgun, pistol, and pair of gun swords. Ah, right, perfect. Machias, Crow, and Fee. I forgot Fee had guns, technically. If you'll forgive me, I did a little research on your weapons of choice. Tests like these are best performed by those with a degree of proficiency. That's true, it would be very useful to test if your tester was uncomfortable with the weapon in question. Oh, that's awesome, thanks. Even brought something for me. So what is it exactly you want the tester to do? Ah, uh, yes, I have a specific test I would like you to conduct. Specifically, I need you to defeat a number of dancing owls, kind of monster and found the Sanxin mountain path. Ten of them should do. Oh, we need to defeat them, okay. Dancing owls? Their name doesn't sound too terrible with that name, but they are highly agile, bird-like monsters, which makes them perfect targets to test firearms on. We fought them before. Tester won't be defeated... Tester won't need to defeat them alone, but he or she must... Oh, finishing blow, okay. Understood. How are you guys going to decide who gets to test the orbital unit? Uh, well how about you pick Fearless Leader? Sounds good to me. I'm fine with that as well. Sounds like that's settled. You know I don't always have to make these decisions. <laughs> I think you're just going to have to accept it. Alright then, in that case... Ask Fee, I guess. Targets are agile bird like monsters, considering how fast Fee is with her gun source, taking him down should be no problem. So you want Fee to be the tester? Alright. Sounds as though they made up their minds. Here's your test weapon, so see what you think. Sure. Change your equipped weapon to the Black Raid. That should do nicely. Should we head over to the test area then? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, let's get going. Texan Mountain Pass is where we went to the mine, right? You got it. That's the exit near the airport. Perfect. Alright, so we have to have Fee defeat these owls with the finishing blow, I think. Should be easy enough, which means we're going to have to have her in the party. Uh, this is why we're gonna just be on turbo mode just so we can get this done quickly. Dude, that looks so sick. I love that. Nice purgatorial flame. Done. Actually, we should save my game. I haven't saved once today. Yo, where are these owls? Not there. There they are. At the left, the uh. Oh, Fee's asleep. Uh, fix that? Where's my Curia Bomb? Oh, Sleeping Nightmare. Do a mint drop. That works. Weaken these other ones? You're dead. Oh, nice. Another kill. Uh, move. How dare you counter? My turn. I can do this. Leave it to me. Keep that. My turn. My turn. There we go, that's three. Just gotta get seven more. Does it keep track for me? It does not keep track for me. I just gotta keep track myself. 
So that's three down. We need seven more. Oh, hey, guys. Dude, playing on turbo mode is pretty fun. <laughs> I would assume Scud Ripper count, like any attack. It's just a finishing blow. It's not too specific. My turn. I'll handle it. Target box. Okay. I can do That's another three, so four more. My turn. Hostiles neutralized. Yep. Yes, we're safe indeed. These guys will respawn, right? They do respawn. Perfect. Stay on guard and don't get okay. Here we go. How dare you miss, Fee? What are you doing, girl? Right. Keep that. My turn. Okay. It's Here over. Oh, not if I miss. My turn. You sweep. It probably won't miss. Well, we can't relax. Right. That's another two, so we need two more. Which they should be located here. Not there. There they are. Alright, perfect. There's at least three. I'll handle it. Here we go. Right. Fire. It's my turn. Locked in the it away. I'll handle it. Here we go. My turn. Right. Fe killed this last one, and then this quest should be good. Targets eliminated. Let's get. <laughs> I did. That's the tenth dancing owl request completed. Seems so. Seems so. Good job. Let's report back to Sandy at the RF Arms store. Let's go. All right, that was easy. Just got to go out of my way to fight those enemies, but it's fine. Like, I feel, I feel like it's a waste not to do a quest that easy. Like, that quest was so easy. I feel like if I didn't do it, it'd just be like, why? Like, why wouldn't I do it? Complete the test, I see. How'd it go? Any significant problems? Nuh-uh. I see. That's excellent news. How'd the test weapon feel to use? Was it powerful, you hope? It wasn't any harder to use than anything I used before, which was good. Did a lot more damage, too. Guess her company knows the stuff. Really, I'm relieved to hear it. Sounds like it won't be long before we begin mass production, then. I'm surprised you haven't started already. Yeah, it sounds like the new unit is much perfect as it is. We still need to complete a long-term endurance test, I'm afraid. There's strict procedures which need to be followed in order for a weapon to declare fit for sale. They're much more intensive than the requirements for consumer goods. Well, Orbal weaponry is generally designed to be sold in bulk to the Imperial Army, so naturally, standards need to be higher. Precisely. But your testing helps us take a bigger step towards completion, so thank you very much for your assistance today. Here's your reward. Mechanics Goggles. Thanks very much. Oh wait, haven't given back the gun swords. Oh, that won't be necessary. Consider that an additional reward for your help. Yo, sick, get a weapon out of it. That orbital unit was designed purely for test purposes, so we couldn't use it for a finished product regardless. Cool. If that's everything, we should probably be going. Yes, of course, thank you again. Hope this won't be the last time we work together. All right, shots fire complete. What's this mechanical goggle thing do? Rents blind and raises, ooh, that's really nice. You know what? You know what? I should work on accessories more. We're going to give that the feed because I need some EP with her. Anything else I can give you? Yeah, we'll give that too. Should definitely give more EP. What's the Grail Locket? Prevents- Oh, ooh. Also really nice. Preventing ailments is really important in this game because there are bosses that use a lot of uh, ailments. Preventing as much ailments as possible would definitely make the game a lot more fun. Preventing delay is really neat. That works, that works. Let's go uh, to the F bar, the bar F or whatever, where Claire was. That's where the other quest is. Oh, it's in the residence, not the uh, F. It's near F. Hello there. Excuse me, are you Vanilla? Vanilla is your name? For a human? We're students from Thor's Military Academy. Did you say Thor's? Does that mean you're the class 7 student who helped my husband yesterday? That would be us. And that makes- that must mean your husband is- 
Chef J Chef Chef. Oh, why why do I have trouble saying that? Chief Johan. <laughs> That's right. Thank you ever so much for helping him. What a funny coincidence this is. My daughter Mint attends stores too. Mint from the Wind Orchestra? I do think that's her club of choice. Does that mean you're part of it too? Yeah, Mint and I get along very well. She makes practice a lot of fun. Ah, oh, that's so sweet of you. Great to know she's made such great friends over there. But back on topic, would you be willing to help me? Our cat Milk has gone missing and I'll need to help find her. We've found so many cats. Yeah, I guess I'll help. We'll find her. If we're gonna find the lost cat, when did she go missing? Two nights ago, making dinner like I usually do. Decided that I would try and make something a little different. Decided I would try using an ingredient I'd never seen before. When I did an odor, odor pungent enough burn your eyelashes, stayed it from the pot. Said you've never seen this before ingredient. Then what happened? Well, my survival instinct was telling me to air out of the room, so I left the door open for a little while, tried to get rid of the smell. But while it was open, mi milk seems to have gotten out. Your cat is actually named Milk. So you haven't seen her since. What does she look like? Well, she has orange and white fur. She's wearing a yellow collar. She's also extremely cautious and doesn't really like people very much, so I imagine she's probably somewhere without many people nearby. I see, sounds like we should mainly search outdoors then. Is there anything else you could tell us that may help us find her? Well, she loves to crawl under things. I don't know why, but it seems to seems to relax her when she does that. Okay then, well that's just how cats are. I know how she feels. You do? Well anyway, that should be enough information to get started with. Does that mean you're going to try and find her? Of course we are. We'll get started by the way. He is basically half cat, calling it. All right, what were the hints I got? She's a very cautious cat, tends to avoid places with a lot of people. She also likes to crawl under things. All the evidence points to her being outdoors. This is gonna be a little annoying to find her if I got no hints to go on besides crawling outdoors. I mean, she could be outdoors. Yo, that's a really cool race car, just saying. Oh, is this her? They did say orange fur. Here she is. I never would have thought to look under the bench. Yeah, it's an easy spot to miss. Now the question is, how are we going to get her to come back with us? Just pick her up. I mean, she'll probably scratch you. Oh no, this is literally like the FF7 quest. But worse. Not anymore, it's not. Cautious is right, we didn't have a chance. Well, let's head after her. Oh my goodness. Don't make me go on the cat chase, I hate it. Why did I accept this quest? Curse my completion sake of not wanting to skip quests. Dude, when we get if there are any more school quests for free days, if there's another free day and there's school quests that sound boring, I'm skipping them. The school quests were pretty boring. I did all of them up to this point. I skipped one of them in chapter 6 because I was actually over it. But uh, if there are more school quests, I'm probably most likely skipping them unless they're required. Because they are boring for the most part. And I really only did them just for completion's sake. But I've done every quest in the field study, so I'm not gonna care if I miss a school quest. This was never gonna be in a 100% playthrough because I haven't done any of the, uh... Haven't done any of the, uh, hidden... I did one of the hidden quests. Those are really hard to find, so this was never in a 100% playthrough. Where is this damn cat? This dumb cat, where'd it go? Yeah, bench near the rower. She probably wouldn't be near the rower institute because, uh, we really looked there. So she'd probably be somewhere different. Would she still be outdoors? I would assume so, right? Let's try going down the escalator. She's probably relatively far from... From where she was. Ooh, a dog. Yo, a cute doggo. Keeping my eyes peeled. If anyone's seen a cat with orange fur, please let me know. Oh, there there she is. She's a girl I'll remember. Another bench, huh? We can't let her get away again. So, who's gonna try to catch her? Oh no, this is literally the Final Fantasy VII Remake quest. And there she goes. You just had to say the word catch. Hey, don't go blaming me on this. This request keeps getting tougher and tougher. It's just annoying. Oh, good thing she's right here. All right, no one say the word catch. Just, just catch her this time. Well, what do you know? She's under another bench. I guess benches are her go-to spots. We need to be really careful this time. Yeah, we should probably start by spreading out so she has nowhere to run. That's a good idea. Just like the Chocobo minigame from 10 too. Oh my goodness. You guys are idiots. 
Oops, she's really fast. She ran to the station. So, are we doing the same? Yeah, if we let someone at the station know what we're doing, I'm sure they'll let us look for her. They explained what was happening to a station employee and we were permitted to investigate inside the station. Eventually, they narrowed down the cat's location to a single stopped train car. This definitely looks like the right train car. Let's take a closer look then, shall we? Oh, she's actually in the train car. Oh, she's literally right here. Here she is. There's nowhere to run this time. Oh no, she's mad. Doesn't seem like a smart idea to get any closer though. At this rate, we're not going to be able to get her back home. Uh, if only I had my thingy with me. Your thingy? Your what? She's talking about one of these. Bro pulled out a chick cat toy out of his pocket. You've had that the whole time and didn't use it? Uh, victory goes to the prepared. Why do you even have that? Are you always carrying it around? Well, you never know when it's going to come in handy. Here, kitty kitty. Crow started playing with the cat. Oh, the cat likes it. Well, look at that. Even animals find me irresistible. Yeah, that's totally it. Not the toy at all. Doesn't look like we'll have any trouble taking her back to the owner now. I guess she likes us. Alright, that was easy. Thank you so much for bringing her back. See, look how happy she is to be back. She's right at home here. Maybe that's because this is her home. I'm sure she's relieved to be back. I don't know what we would have done without you. Thank you all so much. Here, take this as a reward. I made them myself. Melted gratin. Thanks. I don't ever cook in this game, so that seems worthless. These look great. I can't exactly say I'm thrilled to try these. Yeah, same here. They do seem edible, at least. Well, thank you again. Well, we got AP for it, so that's, that's enough, honestly. Uh, where's the monster? Norshia Highway. So we're going to go to the Norshia Highway and go take care of this monster. So if I'm not mistaken, we haven't been to this highway. Give me all the stuff. These are new enemies, so I'm going to fight them. Yes, come on then, indeed. Ow! It's fine, I got a flame impact. Burn to ash! I love that attack. Do not kill Fee. Like, don't even think about it. Hang in there. Just hang in there. Thanks. Please don't not hang in there. Just hang My in turn. there. Target Ow. I probably would have been dead if I didn't right. use Blessed Arrow there. Machias, I really need you to get a fourth craft sooner rather than later. My turn. Go. There. Cut him up. Sliced in two, as my boy Justin would say. That takes care of them. Taken care of. Yo, Link level up for Fee and Elisa. Nice. 